All right. Here. I was out and about, but actually I'm waking up now for my afternoon nap. It's such a, let me explain, it's such a luxury to have an afternoon nap. You say, well, brother, you know, why? Because I'm good. I'm an old man, you know. Anyway, I was on an interesting journey today. This is Juneteenth. Hey, by the way, for those happy Juneteenth. Girl. No, you shouldn't say happy Juneteenth. What should it be? It shouldn't be happy Juneteenth. It should be like, you know, uh, power teenth, power Juneteenth. So it's funny to come up with some how you greet with uh, with Juneteenth, you know. Hey, uh, uh, you know, I don't, care. I don't know what to say, okay? Okay, I got some prune juice, man. Now you say, oh, brother, a glass of water. Oh, it's got water here. Wait a second. My alkaline water, huh? Mm. In a glass. This little brother. Now, so you've been paying attention. I've been looking for prune juice for a long time down here in, uh, in Virginia, right? And I mean, I was at, where's that? I was at the health food store where I got the, these, oh, I'll put the pills in my hand. So I was at the health food store in Virginia Beach, all the way there. Down there, they had, I didn't go to the Whole Foods. I, I sort of, I don't know, I deal with Whole Foods. The, the Trader Joe's didn't have no, no prune juice. None of uh, my favorite food line here didn't have no prune juice. In fact, I was, okay, anyway, nobody had prune juice. In fact, I was at a thing called called uh, Farm Fresh. Now, they tell me that Farm Fresh in this you know this area is gone. You know, I think Kroger came and took them over, something like that. But this farm, this obviously this is the Farm Fresh that's, that's still here. In fact, let me tell you what happened. Farm Fresh. I go there, you know, so get Farm Fresh going there, and they're really they, they they said they got gloves there for you to wear. They'll put on gloves when you go into the store. You know, da -da -da. So I got some stuff there. No prune juice, you know. Uh, in fact, they really. In fact, they had. They used to have a, uh, this little place where they had the alcohol, and like a, I don't say it's a closed area, but it's like a an area that's sort of confined. They close that area down. They put the alcohol in the middle of the and so everything is out. This they weren't playing at this place yet. Okay, so uh, I'm just and uh, so I so I went from there, and then I, I was on the way home. See, because I had to go to what did I go to Farm Fresh for? I got some avocado, but I was going for something else, something specific. I forgot. Oh, oh, tomatoes paste because my sister making a meatloaf. Oh, I don't have good memories. I should no, I have good memories of meatloaf. No, I don't. It has to do with, uh, no, don't worry about that. It has to do with my first wife who couldn't cook. The only thing she could possibly hear was meatloaf, right? Which caused a whole brouhaha. I said, tune in on, on, on July 3rd. I have a special message for my first wife. Yeah. I'm putting it on blast and I'm gonna tell you why. July 3rd, mark it down in your little thing, you know, somehow on this channel, you'll see what happens. Anyway, you know, so there was something else specific that I wanted to get there was that farm fresh would have it. I forgot. I got it, whatever it was, I suppose. Anyway, uh, so then I was on the way back and, and I realized our uh, vegan days, I turned my sister up, but I've been eating vegan days for, I don't know vegan days for a long time. Whenever vegan days first came out, I was on vegan. I don't know, the 80s. I don't know what it was. The 80s. I, I was in vegan. Age. And I always get it when I get down there. Just all of it, put it in the refrigerator, you know. And, and, you know, my wife and, and my brother, you know, all today, they don't, they don't touch it. Then this time it came out, she went and got a big old jar of grapes, you know, vegan age, grape seed vegan age. I wasn't surprised because that's what you do. Let me say how older people, here's what you're supposed to do. You are not supposed to force things on people. You just do your little thing. In fact, the more you, you, you let's say, quarantine it off, say, this is mine, the more they get curious. They want to find out what's going on, that kind of thing. Anyway, so I said, oh, man, I need I need some proof that I still, I said, well, let me try this health food, this small health food store, because like I said, I was down in Virginia Beach, big health food store, big health food store, they didn't have it. Nobody had it, right? Folk looking all over for it. Now remember, there's this little, little health food store right off of Airline Boulevard right there. And uh, they, uh, and they, you know, I said, well, let me try Because that's why I, I usually get it from there. I get, uh, I get juice from there. That's what, and the vegan eggs I get from there. So I went there for vegan eggs. I said, we have vegan eggs. And, 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 and the thing, but this, so they said, yeah. And sure enough, but they didn't have big jars. No, they, they had a big jar down there. She said, no, but this is expired. You know, you see, good store. Uh, in fact, the woman that was there, she said she'd been working there for 10 years. When we had, when I first came down here, there was an old couple there, you know? It turns out they are, the, the people that started this, I think it's called Katie's or whatever it is, started this little health food store. Uh, there are pictures up there, but they passed, right? They passed on to their, to their children, and they're old now, too. 
But they had they come down the beginning of the month from Jersey. They live someplace in some little township, sparse area in New Jersey. Right? But they drove down and um, the, 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 they were, uh, they tried to, something happened. Well, anyway, Maryland somehow locked, stopped the border. Like people come from Connecticut. Any, they wouldn't let anybody through. That's like some, this, this a few weeks ago, right? Very interesting. Oh, it's not cold yet because it's open. I'll put it in the refrigerator now. I like the room temperature. Put in it. So she was even telling me that, you know, people like some somebody had, had rented a car from Maine. And they had Jersey tags and they came down, they stopped them at the board. And they had to like, spend a half hour trying to explain to them, blah, 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 blah. So they was, Maryland was serious, right? Okay, back to the point. So and this, the importance of this little, this is the importance of this little health food store, you know? I couldn't get put in no place. I looked all over the place, but finally, see, prune juice, and this is organic. Let me see. Uh, I know what it says. I know it says nothing but prunes. I'm sure it says there's something like right here. Ingredients, organic prune juice. That's it. That's what you want. You gotta read these labels, you know? It's like, here's an exercise for you. Go to these, um, all these aisles, whatever things, whatever. just look at it. You're gonna see fructose, whatever. As soon as you see that, put that sucker back, look someplace else. I didn't mean back to the punch um, So, so I got it. So the thing is, that, so what I'm trying to say is that you got to protect your little stars, you know, because they're the ones that cater to you. In fact, I went in there and asked her for soy-free vegan eggs. I'm not into that soy stuff because you know GMO, whatever. whatever. All the soy that you get is like, nah, nah. anyway. She said she carried it for a while, but it didn't sell. I said, yeah, people just don't know. But but I want to she said, but you know. I can you just tell me. I can order. I can have stock it for you. Say, I said, you know, I'm, I'm moving around. You know, I really live in South Africa. I've been locked out. You know, we talked about that. You know, so right now I'm only here for this week. Then I go to I go to St. Louis for like two, three months, something like that. I might be back, but I don't want to you know, go through that. Up, don't worry, I'll be all right. We had a nice little conversation, which reminds me, you know, generally this is the South, was it? This is Virginia. But even then, you know, you. You, you like to talk to people, engage with people, and that with all these masks of people, and people not really talking. In fact, when I was in that farm first, I was walking my older brother. He, he sort of gave me a nod uh, and said, hey, man. And he, he, he talked about He was sort of excited. You know, somebody talked to him. So people have been locked in. Now they come out, and they sort of want to, they sort of want to kind of, you know what I'm saying, like that? And then actually, here's funny too. When I was leaving at the checkout, they were these sisters. You know, you know how sisters get the thing. They, you know, they got the job, but they would rather talk to each other than whatever. You know, come on, this is worldwide. Don't worry about it. This is a social, whatever. And you know, they told some guy came saying that, and they talked to him. Said, he was looking at your butt, girl, blah, 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 that kind of thing, right? Well, that's what she did, right? So, so at the end, I said, now you'll have a happy Juneteenth. And I walked out. But you can tell they were sort of like, you know, they didn't, you know, they, uh, see? It's gonna. Everybody's gonna know sooner or later. Okay, um, so that was kind of interesting. Um, uh, but also, uh, let me put that. Idea. Oh, I'm gonna go back. You get really good information, right? When you just talk to people, right? And we also we. Just, oh, I know. I, I went to the farm to look for this Activa. Activa. It's some sort of yogurt that's supposed to have probiotics stuff in it. But there's a special line that's supposed to have fiber in it. My sister wanted, right? But we can't find that any place. So I just got the regular one. Okay, so, but we had gone to the dollar store that they have, they have a new container with a new dollar store in this area, right? And uh, so we went there earlier and uh, they didn't have, oh no, we don't, we're not carrying any yogurt or whatever it is. She said, oh, I know what you're talking about. We don't have that. But when we came there, there was a cop car on the side of the building, right? So my sister came in, you know, we talked. But you know, like I said, my sisters, my sister like me, my sister, we just like my, my grandmother used to go to, go to the, she would go, like say there was a, there was a actually it was then called Sloan Supermarket in my in my neighborhood in the South Bronx in Patterson Project right there. She would go and like like about ten o'clock in the morning. You see a lot of old people going around ten o'clock in the morning, right? And she'd be looking at the vegetables, you know, the produce, and, and she start talking. To them. I said, "Well, this is a shame. Look what they have here." And then she might be, you know, "Do you believe that that's just the kind of person she was?" Okay, wonderful person, right? So, so, anyway, so, so my, my sister has the same thing. So she's like, why is that, that cop sitting over there? You know, the cop car sitting over there. It took a two, three spaces. You know, that's where I usually park, you know. You know. Even though I was driving, I don't care where you park. Oh, she said, oh, yeah. Uh, because what's happening, this is when, that people, young, young, young people in the community are coming and just robbing the store, right? 
it's robbing season, you know, robbing the store. Okay, she said, they just done this. And then she said, that's the other customers to tell them when that happens because what will happen? Okay, here's a phenomenon. Like you have a standalone store and, and you see a dollar store, whatever it is, that's not in the mall. They're in like a, a, a just an area, right? And what is happening, that, that company, whatever it is, what they have done, if there's actually um, a purchase, you know, put that store there, they have a lease on that land, whatever, so they say three years, right? After three years, they've, they've got what they, they got, they're, they're good. So if you start robbing the store, they can just, you know, take their whatever, their insurance, whatever, they just, pull, oh, take the loss, gone, store closes up, You the store is no longer in the neighborhood, they they got some insurance, bail, whatever they got bailed out, boom, boom. Wow. I said, wow, man, these young brothers, man, there's a basketball court. I, when I do my uh, walk in the morning, you know what I mean? So I said, man, if I was really living in this community like like that, I would just go to basketball court, clean up. And sometimes I just engage with your brother and I tell him what the sister told me. Not to, not to make them do anything, just to say, just, to say, just so you know, brothers. Right? Like that. So I got that. But also, we had stopped by uh, 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 Mrs. Keel's house. Now, Mrs. Keel, she's the piano teacher in this area. She, she taught my niece when she was like eight, nine years old. You know what I mean? You know, she's now 83, my, not my niece, Mrs. 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 Keel. And now she's, 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 oh man, she's just taught so many people piano. Now she says she doesn't teach the young ones anymore. She only has, she has adults like senior to teach because she says that the, 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 the folks, are, the young people are good to about tw like 12, 13, like that. Then they start, she said they start smelling themselves. <laughs> she can't handle it. But the young ones say, listen, plus she's not, she's like, right? but she did something. I hadn't seen her in a very long time. When we came there, she's doing her planting, her gardening, whatever. And she's really serious about it, right? And so she, uh, we come there and she says, oh, you come here. Then she brings us into the thing. She takes her uh, little baggy thing. A little, little, she takes a little, little, little Ziploc thing, right? And she's got, got a little oil in there, right? And she takes it out and, and takes off her gloves. And she's got a mask, because, not because of the thing, but because she's you know, spraying the back. She takes it out and she says, you know, and then and she goes to my sister, in the name of the Lord, she does a da, 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 cross on the thing, da, da, da. And then she, then she does it to me. Look. Don't worry about it. I, 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 she does it to me like that. So I said, what, what, what? I said, oh, my natural, because what, what kind of oil is it? And my sister's called it. It's, it's, it's blessed oil, something like that. Oh, she says, it's olive oil. But I had the blessing, whatever. And I said, wow. She said, I'm so... Then she starts talking. It's very interesting. She says, well, um, she's in favor of what's happening. You know, the, the uprisings, right? She says, I sit in front of the TV and I just pray to the Lord. I said, keep those people safe. She's, it's really amazing. I bring that up because, especially, let me see, ADOS. Now, this is, let me put it this way. Uh, Event and Tone, they have this thing about the elders and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and sometimes it's, it wears thin. Let's put it that way. For me, it never bothered me. Even from the beginning, I would, I laugh, right? Because I'm, I'm an elder, I'm a boomer. You know, excuse the boomers, right? But I'm like an outlier, outlier boomer. Right. The reason why I get survived is got everybody around me are boomers and they, you know, so whatever. Don't worry about that part. So, so I'm thinking, you know, that tone, look, just chill. We got enough people jumping on the boomers. You know, if I, if I want to hear about the boomers messing up, whatever, I go to, you know, some other channel. Right. You now you can just drop that. You made your point. Right. Let's keep it going. Because there's a lot of people coming to ADOS or to your channel for real knowledge, not to be put down. I'm not to say that, 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 that. Forget whether it's true or not, you know, but you don't understand. There's a core of us outliers. Right. I know. For, for me, the shoe doesn't fit, so I don't have to wear it. But a lot of people are very sensitive about this. You know, they're very sensitive about this. So you don't want to start alienating people like that. I know if you want to call people names, but just just go ahead. I, I go by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., so I don't want to call people names. Just I'm just letting you know, okay? Don't crucify the messenger. <laughs> okay, so I want to say that. And, um, and plus, oh, look, talk to the... Like uh, Miss, because she's eighty three. There's another Miss Cora. I'm gonna see her in a week. Weekend. She's in this area. It is. It's like a, basically it's an all black suburban area. It's like a, it's a huge area. They just cavalier some area around here. And I love talking to this old lady too, man. Because there's, I mean, just like like Miss Kill. She's very religious. There's other. There's other like she's not very religious. And we just get down. I just love talking to her. Matter of fact, ah. I got to go up to New York, and then about a week in New York, then I go out and go to St. Louis. Ooh, I got to go see Loretta Dumas before before I go to St. Louis. Oh, 
take, I get up, just got to do it. Loretta is about 85 years old, you know what I mean? I like talking to Loretta, too. You know, the widow of Henry Dumas. I just about Henry Dumas. You know, Henry Dumas, the cat that wrote, wrote this book. See? Henry Dumas. This is, it's a, it's a, a the novel that was finished, um, his last novel, it was finished or whatever by uh, Eugene B. Redmond, but this is Henry Dumas. It's a good book. Do you know when the green stone? Very good. You know, so I love talking to her. I love talking to, to, to Loretta. It's a wonderful thing. I love talking to old people. Uh, he said, oh, but brother, you old too. So, uh, look, you got to bring prunes. Uh, uh. Laugh if you want, but you better. Anyway, so that's it. Um, what else do I have to say? No, I have stuff written down. That's it. Hey. Is it for you too? What is it for you? It is the things you have to do. You're leading, you know what I mean? All you have to do is get support of the old people, talk to them, but even if they give you orders, they say, yeah, 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 man. yeah you're right, you're right. Just go, you have to do what you, you you gotta do. It's all right, it's all right. There's a little message from me, T, from the person's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Here, during the uprising. Yeah, hey, listen to my grandnephew, you know, Power to the peoples.